by EXOS. And uh, regarding the actual test, so in order to trigger the cell thermal runaway inside of the tested module, there are several possibilities. Uh, and the method that we use at EXOS is either nail penetration or external heating pad. So nail penetration, uh, Cecil mentioned it also earlier. The protocol is quite straightforward actually. So it consists in running a nail into the cell. And this basically simulates uh, an internal shortcut that triggers the thermal runaway. However, in more recent tests, we have been applying another protocol using external heating pad. So in this case, a thermal resistance is placed onto a cell and it is then heated to a very high temperature until it causes the cell to go into thermal runaway. Uh, sorry, Jean, to interrupt you, but uh, it's something I have never seen before, this uh, sort right. of setting. Is that something new or is that something, what is this standard? Yeah, right. Thank you for, for pointing this out. And, and uh, indeed, uh, this protocol, it's actually adapted from a recent standard, relatively recent standard. And uh, the reason for this, this new standard was to define a more representative method uh, to, to assess the safety of the batteries for automotive. Uh, so um, compared to the nail penetration, uh, this method has, for example, better repeatability, and it is also uh, less mechanically invasive, uh, as you can imagine. Um, so the, the drawback, however, is that this method requires additional consideration during the module design, uh, because the addition of this heating pad inside of the module needs to be taken into account during the design. 